Tang gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. Hey, man, you know I always want to start off my videos by giving y'all this good energy, letting y'all feel the vibes, you know, because retention is a vibe. When you start harnessing your energy and not releasing it to every single woman that you see, not releasing it to a screen, it's a vibe, man. You start to feel the vibration inside of you. You feel that energy rising up. You know, the sun is out. So you getting that electromagnetic energy from the sun and then it's connecting with your energy and it just creates a vortex. It creates a just a whirlpool of energy, right? It starts, starts swirling around. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling good today, man. So I want to pass this on to y'all. Make sure y'all like the video, man. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that bell and subscribe. I greatly appreciate y'all. This journey is to be respected. And this journey is something that every man should be doing. Every man should try. Because it's, it's a challenge for yourself. A challenge of the mind. How strong is your spirit? How much discipline do you have? How much can you take? This is the foundation right here. For every man. When you can take on this journey to master yourself, master your energy, the sky is the limit. The world is yours. You'll start to see things from another perspective. You'll start to see yourself differently. You'll start to carry yourself differently. You start to feel better about yourself, more confident in yourself because you're doing something that most men can't do. You're doing something that's better than yourself. You're challenging yourself every single day. To me, that's the essence of a man, is to challenge yourself, to better yourself. What is a man without his discipline? You know, that was a stretch, but what is a man without his discipline? Can you trust a man that has no discipline? He has no self-control? You gotta ask yourself that question because then you gotta look yourself in the mirror and say, can I trust myself? I have no discipline. I lack discipline. So can I really trust myself? Challenge yourself daily. Keep going. Work on yourself. For my guys that's on this journey, don't give up because you relapsed one time or you keep relapsing or you had a wet dream or whatever. Keep going. What are you stopping for? You know how many times I relapsed on my journey? You know how many relapses I've had? I wanted to quit. I felt like I threw all those days in the trash. I lost all my benefits. But you don't lose the benefits. You don't lose them. They just, they stop. Right? As you're going to days, you relapse, it stops. Right? So then you got to build that meter back up to catch up to where you were. And then it goes back up. But all that knowledge, all that wisdom, the experiences that you gain on your streak, you don't lose that. That stays in here. And then you capitalize on that. You learn from it. This is what that journey is about. About learning yourself, about mastering yourself. Going through the trials and tribulations. We coming back to the drawing board. We reconfigure the journey and then we get back on our path. Constantly, it doesn't stop. That's what it is. Man. The benefits on this journey is crazy. It's something that you can't put a price on. It's priceless. It's truly priceless. The amount of time that I've been on my journey, man, the benefits has been crazy. My hair has been growing like crazy. My skin has been glowing from my voice, my eyes. My eyes are way more powerful when I make eye contact with people. They just feel my energy. But the biggest thing that I've gained from this journey is the things that I affirm for myself, my imagination starts to come alive. I start to see my imagination working and I start to see it solidify in reality. My goals become real. My dreams become real. That's one of the biggest benefits I've seen. I literally see the life that I want being created in front of me. You know, but it don't just happen by me sitting down and, and wishing for it. You still got to put the groundwork in. You still got to put the work in. But just by you holding on to this essence 
it gives you that energy that you need to put that work in. It gives you the energy that you need to affirm what you want and solidify it into this reality. That's the biggest benefit I've seen. Every man should be on this journey as a rites of passage for yourself. Because if you can't control yourself, what's gonna happen when you get a wife? You can't even control your urges. And this is why men are so weak these days because they can't control their urges, especially around a woman. So now you give that woman power over you based off of lust. You gotta conquer that. This is why so many men fail today with the, the flicks, scrolling on the gram all day looking at cheeks. This is why men are losing today. This is why men are so weak today. No self-control. Holding on to this energy, man, it starts to change you from the inside out. It's going to reconstruct your molecular structure. You literally start to embody the journey. You know, that's why the glowing eyes and the voice gets deeper and, the, and your hair starts to grow. You just start to shine. Your essence, your vibration can be felt through the air, right? You lit, you lit up, you glowing. You know, four years ago when I started my journey, I would have never thought I'd be in the position I am today. I'm a totally different person than I was four years ago. And it's all due to retention. Retention is the reason why I became a better man. Because I, I took on that journey to discipline myself first before anything else. And once I did that, everything else started to fall in my lap. Everything else came to me because I earned it. I deserve it. I put the work in. I'm here to tell y'all, man, I'm here to lead y'all by example. I'm here to show y'all that this lifestyle is real. There's true benefits to this. It's not placebo. It's not just in your mind. This is an actual change. You will actually see physical, spiritual, mental change. But you got to be patient. You guys got to be patient. You know, you can't be a microwave baby. It's not going to happen like this. You got to put the work in. You got to be consistent. And the most important thing, you can't never give up on yourself. Once you quit, you're a loser. Once you quit, you're a loser. But you can never be a loser. Look here, man. I'm going to leave y'all with this. You know, because I can go on and on about the benefits. When you get on this journey, you won't have to find your purpose. Your purpose will come to you. You won't have to find your purpose because your purpose will come to you. When you get on this journey, when you learn to control yourself and retain your seed, you won't have to find yourself. You'll realize you never left. You've been there. You've been with yourself the whole time. You just forgot who you were. You forgot who you were. So, hey, man, y'all stay strong on this journey. For the people that's not on this journey, go 90 days. Try 90 days first. See if you can do that. I promise you it will change your life. It will change your life. Let's get it.